everybody and welcome back to Living Raw with Rosie. I know it's been over a little bit over a year since the last time I made a video and it's been a very emotional long journey for me this past year. As you can see, I've already grown in my uh, natural gray completely and that's one of my journeys, emotional journeys that I was going through this year. Uh, but that's for another video. If you guys would like to hear more about that, please leave a comment below and I'd be glad to make a video on that about aging and my transition to gray. But today's video is going to be about a delicious, easy, quick, healthy dessert for the holidays and a review, product review, on a product that I've been using that I absolutely love and I must share with you guys about using plastic and plastic products that are unnecessary. We absolutely do need plastic for the medical profession and for a lot of things that are necessary, but if we could limit plastic use and eliminate it where it's not necessary, that would be amazing. As many of you might know, the statistics show that for every person, we use about 700 plus plastic bags that go into our landfills and our oceans. And that's not acceptable. We could cut that tremendously by just doing small changes. Like these, like using uh, produce bags. I've done a lot of reviews and some reviews on produce bags before I yeah. them, but lately these have been one of the ones that I absolutely love. I've been using them for a while and uh, I just had to share with you guys. This is why. These produce bags, the little ones, I enjoy using them for lentils small grains, legumes, and they have this really amazing little clip that you could bring down and secure tight. So the smallest of uh, lentils or sesame seeds do not fall. Also, they have this mesh that is so tiny, breathable, see-through, but does not allow little seeds like sesame seeds go through. I like using the small one when I purchase any type of small nuts or seeds like pumpkin seeds. Once I get home with my dry goods, I like to transfer my legumes and my uh, grains into glass jars. The nuts and seeds usually I put them into jars and into the refrigerator. So. All the dry goods could go in the pantry, but nuts and seeds stay longer, in my experience, in the refrigerator. So I have those in jars in the refrigerator. And it's always good, if possible, to try to buy from bulk. That's how you eliminate a lot of the plastic. Right. And then when I use the medium bag, I buy like zucchini in the medium bag or uh, celery also. also uh, uh, if you go to the organic area, you could usually buy organic celery in bags or you have the choice to buy the one in plastic bags or the ones that are not in plastic bags. And um, try to choose the ones that don't have plastic bags. Take your bag with you and as you can see, the big one fits the celery perfect. I put these in the produce drawers in my refrigerator. They stay fresher that way. Now these are great and your produce will stay fresh if you keep them in the bins in the refrigerator. What these bags do not work on is my leafy greens. For example, my uh, kale here. I put what I do, I do have usually plastic bags and as you can see this one's pretty old because I continue to reuse the same plastic bag over and over for this I buy, and usually the mesh helps them breathe and it helps with the moisture that's already in my leafy greens and I put them in this reusable plastic bag keep it in the refrigerator and it'll keep my greens 
for long and it will continue to keep using it and it does not get dirty because the mesh bag keeps everything in here and it does not dirty your bag. So what I do when I'm done, these are very easily washable with um, your kitchen soap, whatever soap you use, just wash them and hang them over the sink and within like minutes they're dry. They don't even take by my dry goods, for example, like onions and that I don't refrigerate, I bring them home in my bags and then I transfer these into baskets. I have a tier basket where I keep my onions, avocados, tomatoes, potatoes, and I trans and then I my bags are ready to be used again. Love. And the medium bag for my bananas. As you can see, I have a couple pounds of bananas in here. I bring them home. I put them in my tear basket where I keep my fruits and vegetables. And but see that there's plenty of room there for more bananas if you need to buy them. So yeah, these are some of the ways that I use my grocery bags. Also have other great ideas that you can use. Oh, by the way, I also take my other um, grocery bags. Once I purchase my groceries, I just really quickly use my other bags and then just go ahead and put it in my vehicle. And it's a lot easy. You can use your any reusable bags that you have. This it has awesome. been something that I've used lately because I've been traveling a lot. And so the little ones I use for nylons, little booties and socks when I travel, say it's the summer, and for undies. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you those, but yeah, I use the little bags for the for that, and um, they seal securely in my carry-on or suitcase. And then once you get home. You throw all your dirty nylons and socks in here, throw them in the washer, bring them out from the washer into the dryer, Actually, bring and they come out wonderful with them. Okay, uh, the large bag, I organize all my bras, just like I have them in the drawers. I stack them like that, and they stay in my suitcase without getting damaged. You could also use the other bags. In this case, I have some winter socks in here. Those yeah. are just some ways that you guys could use these bags. What you get in this package, they're actually, I think that, yeah, right now they're $10.50 on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. And they are from Tree Beautiful Life. As you can see here, Tree Beautiful Life. You get seven bags, you get two large blue bags, three medium green bags, and two small uh, red bags. You also get the little pouch, a little red bag with a clip as well. They put them all in there. Once you're ready to go back to the grocery store, I'm gonna leave all the information in the link below where you guys could go order them from Amazon right now. And I'm also going to find out and see if there is a promo code. I'll leave it below so you guys can use. Without further ado, on to our easy, quick, delicious little holiday dessert. Okay, here are the ingredients we're gonna need for our delicious dessert. Less than half a cup of uh, diced Granny Smith uh, green apples, about a palm full of walnuts, and you're gonna use, you're gonna need two, about one and a half dates, pitted dried dates, or two dates, depending on how sweet you want this, dried dates, or two dates, depending on how sweet you want this, um, then you're going to need five soaked dates in here in water. And this came up, they expanded with a third cup of water that I soaked them. You're going to need a pinch of cinnamon and uh, probably half a pinch of cinnamon and nutmeg and just a tiny bit of pink, uh, Himalayan salt, about a teaspoon and a half of lemon and juice. You're also going to need a um, 
either a uh, Vitamix or a Nutribullet like I have here. Uh, you're also going to need a small, tiny um, food processor that I also have here. So we're going to start with the, cr uh, the crumble. So you're going to put the walnuts into the food processor with all the dry ingredients and the two dry dates in there. And we're gonna process this until it processes it is into a crumble. All right, there we are. This is the consistency that you want. You want it to kind of look like just a little crumble like this. And we're gonna put this aside. Now yeah. we're gonna put our dates with the water into our little um, Nutribullet cup right there with um, lemon juice as well. Uh, then we're gonna cover that. We're gonna blend this really quick. All right. So here it is. Now the next step is to this. I should have added cinnamon. You could add cinnamon and that makes it taste delicious. So I don't dirty any more dishes. I just throw my apples in there. Oh, this already smells so good. We're gonna get ready to um, plate this. So you're gonna need a little dish like so. Perfect size for my uh, desired serving. So you're gonna put a little bit at the bottom. You can make it into a crust if you like. And then I'm gonna pour in my apple mix in here. And this is so sweet with no uh, no refined sugars, all natural sugars. And yeah. now we're gonna add the rest of our crumble on the top. And there you go. A delicious, easy mm -hmm. dessert. All right, you guys, here is the finished product. My healthy uh, apple crumble dessert. Now it's actually the same recipe from my raw vegan apple pie that I make every year for the holidays except when I want a little small portion of it and I make it into a little delicious apple crumble because it's so good especially during this time of year that you want to stay healthy and you want to put good stuff in your body. This is perfect. I'm going to try it and taste it for you guys. Mmm, oh, like always, perfect, right on point, delicious. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the button subscribe below to my channel. Also, hit the like button, please. And if you want notifications every time I post a new video on a recipe or a review, hit the bell button next to the subscribe button below and you'll get a notification on that. Please do order your bags. They're, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful product. I would not recommend it or stand behind it if I did not like this product and I didn't try it, but I did and I absolutely love it. I will post a promo code below for I believe 20% off and uh, websites where you can find this uh, wonderful product. You guys have a great, great day. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing.